water looks especially intimidating today. All right, good morning. I am headed to Miami today for a podcast recording. And with the morning flight, that means I got to get my run and workout in earlier than normal. Going to have to go at about 7 a.m. rather than about 9 or 10, which means I got to be at my desk earlier to get it in. So I'm going to hit my morning supplements here quickly and get to my desk to get some writing done. Absolute must for these cold mornings. Heat your car up so that it's ready to roll when you get out there. Other big thing, got to place the order on the Duncan app so that my cold brew is ready to rock by the time I get there. They already know me. I'm in there every single day. It's the usual at this point, but get the order in. It's ready to roll. We make a move. Nice and toasty in the car when you get it ready before, which is nice getting into it, especially after getting out of the cold plunge. Now this Duncan is just about a half a mile from my house, which I gotta say has been one of the best features of this house. <laughs> Seems stupid, but this is my go-to. So every morning after the cold plunge, I end up doing this little quick drive, getting over here, getting my large black cold brew, and then getting back over to my desk. Now, as I mentioned with the travel day today, this morning work session is gonna be a little bit shorter than normal. Usually I'd be at my desk from say about 5.15, 5 to 5.15, somewhere in that time range up until right around 8.15, 8.30. Um, and I go out, make my son breakfast, hang out with him, uh, spend some time with the family before workout stuff. But with the travel day today, we're gonna have to get that run. Got a uh, pretty significant run and workout in that I gotta get done before I head down to Miami. So hopefully I'll make up for the missed work time this morning by getting a little bit more in on the flight down, which is normally when I would be working out. So it should all come out in the wash. Try not to stress too much about it. I don't love traveling anymore like I used to when I was younger. I, uh, I'm a creature of habit, really like my routines, but when I'm doing it for fun reasons, I try to embrace it and not stress out too much. Yeah, I just rather be alone in my zone. Just like that. Homes. When I get in, I take a shower, read a book and feel empowered. Smoking on that sour, got me counting down the hours. Thinking of all the shit that they could do but won't allow us. Then I realize they all some fucking cowards. The world is ours. Heading over to the gym now to park there. It's the new gym in town. Amazing setup. I'm going to start with a run. I've got somewhere between an eight and nine mile track workout. It'll be like a two-ish mile warm-up and then three rounds of one and a half mile uh, speed work, probably right around a six minute per mile pace. Not gonna push it too, too hard today just with the travel on the back end. We're gonna try to hit those at right around a six minute per mile pace uh, and then a one and a half, two-ish mile cool down to get back to the gym. Then got a full upper workout. It's gonna be a bunch of bench, uh, a bunch of back. And then gotta run back home pack up and head over to catch my flight down to Miami. Fortunately, right out of Westchester Airport, so super close on JSX, which is awesome. You can arrive like 20 minutes before the flight and uh, and be good. So we've got a little bit of a crazy morning. Um, I texted my running coach and just said, man, I have to do this run really early. It's gonna be cold and dark and I gotta work out after it and then I gotta go catch this flight. And he replied and just said, you don't have to, you get to. And that sounds like some motivational mumbo jumbo sometimes, but it's really true. It's a privilege to get to do these things sometimes. So we got to embrace it. That was brutal. Run on the treadmill, had to do it inside. The track was closed. Absolutely crushed. Hit an upper workout. Got the three one and a half mile intervals done in 8.57. 
stuck on pace. Brutal. <sighs> Gas. I used to train in that early in the morning, but got it done. Gonna head home, hang out with a little guy, have a little breakfast, pack up, and go catch this flight. I was wondering why I felt so gassed during that workout. And then I realized with the early morning, I forgot to eat before training. Normally before a hard run, before a hard workout like that, I would eat something, get some carbs in me. And I forgot because I didn't have time. So note to self, eat before an early morning workout. All right. I have four minutes until my Uber gets here, so I'm about to absolutely hammer this cup of rice, beef, and ground turkey. Get there. Just got down to Miami, quick 24 hour trip down here. Weather not as nice as expected. Looks pretty windy and cloudy, unfortunately. I was hoping to get a little bit of warm weather after the New York cold we've been going through. Headed straight over to a couple meetings and then have a dinner tonight. Gonna see some great people down here, have some fun. Heading up to the room here at the One Hotel South Beach. Beautiful property. Excited to be here. A little bit of a rush. Gotta get to another meeting before this dinner. Ooh. Nice room. Got the suite. Ooh, this is nice. Most importantly, see what we got for the cold plunge setup. Boom, got the bathtub, ready to go for that cold plunge. Love it. Freaking room's got a bar in it. What you got on that? Gonna be serving stuff up tonight? <laughs> Make my morning supplement concoction over here at my little bar. Why not? All right, I am calling an Uber. Heading out, running late for this dinner. Gonna head over to Gordon Ramsay's. Hell's Kitchen restaurant. I don't know how far it is. I don't know Miami very well. But it should be a cool dinner with a group of other content creators and the like. Bunch of new friends. Looking forward to meeting some people. Hopefully learn a few things. Maybe even share a few things that I've learned. Although, I always feel like the dumbest person in these rooms especially on content related stuff, just given I'm relatively new to this compared to a lot of these folks. So try to learn, see. Before, and I'm really excited about this one because these are like, you guys are say that you're probably the best one yet. So what we do is everyone will All right, I do not love being away from home anymore, mainly because it gets me out of all of my nutrition and training routines. I have found a bunch of ways to minimize the negative effect of that. One of those is making sure that I get enough protein when I'm on the road. Sometimes I travel with protein, sometimes I don't, uh, and when I forget, I have the pro move of finding a local healthy bowl type place that will almost always make you a very simple custom protein shake if you order on Uber Eats. So I just ordered from this place called AVO, AVO down here in Miami, got a simple chocolate protein shake with whole milk, which is basically what I would have before going to bed back home. So on the road, no matter where you are, you can always still find a way to hit your nutrition, keep your training in check, and hopefully get a great night's sleep as well. Pro tips. It's 5.30 a.m. here in Miami, and I'm currently outside waiting for my Uber Eats delivery of three 10-pound bags of ice to arrive. 
so that I can fill up this tub with some ice and get my cold plunge in here down in warm, humid Miami. No one will ever say that I wasn't committed. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is what we call controlling the controllables. 30 pounds of ice, bathtub, get the job done. Did the trick. Let's go. All right, I gotta get out. You know, I will say it is nice not having to be out on a frozen deck after getting out of here. But there's something I miss about the pain of that morning cold on your toes. This was a pretty good substitute, but I am excited to get back to the cold in New York. Control what you can when you travel. Control what you can on the road. Control the things in your life that are controllable. Know that it's not always gonna be perfect, but if you do your best, that compounds over the long run. As I said in one of these recordings in the last couple days, Anything above zero compounds. It doesn't have to be perfect for it to be beneficial. Something to think about in the days ahead. As always, until next time, let's get cold. This part can be tricky, making sure these don't spill when you only have a little water bottle. Let's do your best. Pro level right there. This is that mango chili. Delicious. Gang, gang. Boom. So one of my principles when I travel is just making sure that I control the controllables around nutrition. I always travel with my AG1 powder and these element packs for electrolytes and sodium. Make sure that I mix it up in the morning, have that little morning cocktail. Keeps me feeling good when I travel. Generally avoids getting sick. A generally good principle to have when I'm on the road. This is the most insane hotel gym I've ever seen in my life. It's anatomy at the one hotel in South Beach. Unbelievable. Nine dollar cold brew at the one hotel in Miami Beach. Rating twice as expensive as Dunkin Donuts back home. Half as good. Stick to Duncan. Here at the beautiful standard spa in Miami Beach to have breakfast with my friend David Senra, most well known as the host of the Founders Podcast. Incredible podcast. So I just got done with this breakfast with my buddy David Senra, who is the host of the Founders Podcast podcast that breaks down, deconstructs the lives of some of the most impressive men and women in history. David is incredible uh, for one reason. He is utterly obsessed with his craft and with improving on a daily basis. He's really one of those people that has found his single vector. He's found his life's work and he doesn't allow distractions to get in the way of him pursuing that. So everything he does is focused on this one vector and on delivering the highest quality, most soul-filled content that he possibly can. It's so inspiring to spend time around people that have found that and are building that, building that world and building that worldview around it. So if you haven't already, check out the Founders Podcast. It's incredible. Oh. Just got done yeah. here. Amazing oh, Jasmine oh, and Jen yeah. podcast. Yeah, awesome. Sweet industrial loft. Really Headed back place. home.
made it home. About to hop in this Uber. Get back to the little man and the wife. That was a great short trip down to Miami. Fit a lot into about 16 hours. Saw some old friends, saw a few new friends. Recorded an awesome podcast with some really cool new people that I hadn't spent time with. And most importantly, getting back in time for bath and bedtime for the little man. So good to get back and do that. Awesome trip. Thanks for joining me. Until next time.